Hey everyone, welcome to the Otoscope Excel video blog where I offer up my favorite Excel tips, tricks, and hacks. Today we're going to use the VLOOKUP function to rearrange data into a more useful format. I'm a senior project manager for a company and I'm monitoring the progress for four project managers who work under me. Each week they log into our time application and submit their hours worked and a one sentence blurb summarizing progress made that week. It's hard for me to follow an individual person over time because everything's entered in chronological order by the date each report was submitted. I'd love to rearrange the data into a format like this in my first tab. I'm going to show you how to do this with just one VLOOKUP formula. Let's delete the data and start. VLOOKUP, of course, is an incredibly powerful function that helps you retrieve information from large data tables. To use VLOOKUP, I need a lookup value. This lookup value needs to be unique. I need one unique ID for each person's weekly report. The problem right now is none of the values I have are unique. In cell B4, I need to tell VLOOKUP to find the report for John on August 16th, 2013. Let's say I use column A as my lookup value, the names. Well, there are four instances of John in my data, one for each week. How does VLOOKUP know which one I want? I encounter the same problem if I use date as my lookup value. There are four instances of each date, one for each person. No single column tells me who a report is for and when it happened. We need a unique ID, and since we don't have one in our data, we're going to make one up. Since each person only files one report each week, I can combine the date and name into one unique value. This simple formula combines two text strings. I combine the date of a report and the name of the person who filed it. Note that Excel converts the date to its Excel serial number because it treats it as a text string. This value here, 41502 John, uniquely identifies a report that John filed on August 16th, 2013. In order to leverage this ID, I need to add it to my export data tab. If I insert a column, call it unique ID, I'll type a similar formula to create the ID I want. Date, followed by name, to uniquely identify that report. Then copy it down for all reports. Now every report has a unique ID. Okay, let's type out our VLOOKUP formula. You can create the unique ID inside the VLOOKUP formula. For my lookup value, I'm going to insert the same unique ID formula we've been using. Note the cell reference anchors I'm using to allow me to copy across and down. Next, I need the table I'm going to search within. That's the table in my second tab. The third parameter is the column number that I want to pull from that table. That's column number 5. The last parameter should almost always be 0. This just means I want an exact match to the lookup value. Cool. It pulls the last project status for John's report on August 16th, 2013. Copy that formula across the table and down, and we're finished. That's all for this episode. Thanks everyone for watching, and as always, I'd love to see your comments and questions on the blog.